Okay, all right. So this is the part uh, I want to demonstrate with the uh, uh, emulator. I have software over here, so we can start to look at the result. So in the lab, all right, in lab nine, they are part of the program. You're looking at the section three. We study, uh, we study the uh, the MOV instructions, right? So this, there's one part, all right. So I want to emphasize after you design the ladder logic, I want you to try this. After the button is released, their value is stays. So that's the part when you press three different buttons, you will see different value assigned to the integer tag. All right, so this is uh, something I want to realize different from the uh, Boolean or bit logic. So let me bring up the computer, uh, the ladder logic on here. Okay, so for example, all right, so let me just, uh, Quickly, start a uh, comparison. All right, let me finalize this. Uh, you know what? Uh, not very good idea here. Let me uh, change it a little bit. So instead of a PB, we're using the same button on here, right? So, so then this way you will see better result, right? So what I'm trying to do over here is that to let you to see the uh, difference between the uh, double integer with the boolean, right? So let me have the HMI here. Okay, so right now I'm running this program right now. So there's one button called MOV on here, MOV1, right? So that's the button connect to the logic on here. So right now we are seeing all the Boolean, uh, all, the, uh, all the memory uh, inside the PLC at zero, right? So we have five int tags all zero show up on here. Same thing you will see the blue arrow we talked about yesterday, they all show zero. And uh, we also have a Boolean tag PL, right? Right now value is also zero. So from the wrong zero and wrong one, you can see they, they both have the same trigger MOV1, which is a button on here. So if I press this button, you will get logic two on both wrong at the beginning over here. And then you will see the result. So on wrong zero, we un we uh, energize a pilot light PL, which is a Boolean tag. And then on wrong number one, we have a double integer tag, INT1. We want move value one into that tag. Currently, that tag value is zero, right? You can see here zero, and PL is also zero, right? So that's press the button. So when I press the button, for sure, you can see PL energized, right? You can see around zero, I, I cannot move my cursor away, right? But you can see on the Studio 5000 PLC data logic, uh, on wrong zero, PL is on, and also on wrong number one, the INT one, the value is also one, right? So they have the same response, right? So what I mean is that now when I release this button, then the trigger, the exam on instruction will become false, and then see what happened, right? When I release button, you can see PL, go back to zero, de-energize, let we understand, we are the program, we are understand that. But you can see here, here's the difference, right? The Because 
the int1 is a double integer. And also we use MOV instruction to copy the value into int1. So even the trigger right now become false. We still have the destination value as a one. Right? So you see the result different. So what does this remind you? So you clearly you can see the MOV right now is different from the OTE, right? But what you see on here, does it run the bell with the what we learned before? If you think about the large, right? It's almost the activity is almost like a, a the 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 action is the result is more like a large. Right, you once assign the value to one, it stays, even though the trigger become become false. Right, the value stays. Right, but in boolean, if you use OTE, that will de-energize. Right, so that's why I I want this is a good chance for for us to see the difference, and then we can understand both sides better. Right, so if you're still confused about the OTE, OTL, right? So now you see the, the, it's the, other, side, the other side, right? So the double integer over here is it's behaving like the uh, large, right? So even though the trigger become false, it's still the value stay there, right? So, but the, uh, yeah, but uh, it's not exactly like a large, all right? So in maybe in the future, we'll talk about more, right? Let's move on to here. Uh, second part I want you to uh, observe is that, and if you toggle both MOV1, MOV2 on the same, uh, in the same time, MOV2 overrides the value of integer one into two. So what do we mean by that is, if you look at the logic, so with the trigger MOV1, you copy the value one into INT1. But with the MOV2, you overwrite the value two into the same destination INT1, right? So what we want to do is that if we try to toggle that, right? So because on the HMI, there's no way we can press both buttons in the same time, right? So we can only do this in the uh, toggle, right? So we toggle that, then also toggle this one as well. Then you can see this is a typical situation we learned before, we, we call double coil syndrome. Right. So even though by that time, because we call double coil, right? We, we refer that in the Boolean tag, Boolean instruction. But uh, over here, we can just borrow this uh, uh, term to describe this situation. Because with PLC scan, right? So it will scan the wrong one first, assign the value one into NT1 only briefly at that period of time. Because right after, PLC will start to scan the second, the wrong two. And then because both trigger are true, and then the value two will override the previous value one. That's why you only see value two on here, right? So this is just something I want you to uh, realize. This is uh, similar to what we have with the Boolean tag and bit logic. All right, so this is uh, the first demo for today. Uh, just give me a minute.